this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. In this video we're going to swap the atmosphere of one photo with the atmosphere of another photo. So essentially we take the all the colors that make up the photo and essentially the, the look of it um, and replace it with another one that from a photo that has a lot more of a dramatic sense. So usually you'll be using this on more uh, on, on blender photos shall we say so for example this is uh, a, a not remarkable photo here now it's not entirely very interesting here the colors are kind of dull you can kind of see that uh, just the, the weather itself was probably very windy and cloudy and it wasn't all very nice and you know it, it doesn't have much of a punch so what we can do is uh, have another reference photo for example I have here on the second photo here of a uh, sunset so we have a lot more of a dramatic more saturated colors that are a lot more interesting even though the photo itself this one isn't all that interesting or important really at the moment. What we're looking for here really is the colors. And the colors in this photo are a lot more uh, dramatic than they are on this very bland photo. So that's what we want to look for when we're trying to have a, a reference more dramatic photo. It's not the content of it, it's more of the colors that make up that photo, right? So once we have that, we need to have those two uh, photos open as we do now. So we have in our window, we have uh, two photos. So we, what we want to do is go into image adjustments and match color. So image adjustments, match color. And here we'll have the option to actually select what we want to match the color of. So at the moment we have the uh, source of our image set to none. And we want to use the source uh, as a reference, uh, that other image that we have open. So we're going to go ahead and select that second uh, image. And we'll show you the preview here of that image here. Uh, we have our two images open here, right? So we want to select a more dramatic one. And now you can see if I just uh, pull this down here, you can see that immediately it uses the, the colors um, of the previous photo to affect this photo. And all of a sudden you have a much more dramatic uh, photo effect. And what you can do now is just play around with how uh, that actually interacts with your original image to create something uh, that is sort of an in-between or leave it as it is and so forth. So I'll just bring this up here and we'll just pay attention to uh, this part of the image here. Now what we can do here is of course click on neutralize which it'll neutralize the color casts so that we have something that is a little bit more in between what the original color was and uh, what the new one is becoming. So I'll take away the preview here for you to see this is the original color. And now with the neutralize, what we're doing here is affecting a lot more of the of the blues. We're not adding too much yellow, but we're adding a lot of the blue into this, a lot of the purple. If we take away the neutralize, then pretty much since that uh, image here is very yellow, then we're applying essentially yellow to the hole and green and more blue and so forth to this image. The other thing we can do uh, in conjunction is actually work with fade. Fade will actually essentially allow us to, uh, if we move it all the way to 100%, will allow us to just go back to the original colors. So fade will give us something in between. So let me just move this here. And as you can observe, as we start moving uh, the slider, the, the colors start becoming more and more dramatic all the way to the point where we have that original very saturated color. So we can move it somewhere around, let's say around the 30% mark here. And uh, we have something that's a little bit in between. And now you can compare also if you want, for example, to apply some neutralize. I think this brings back, in this case, a little bit too much of that original color. It still looks a little bit a little bit boring. It, just, it punches it up a little bit more, but it's just a bit boring. So if we take away that neutralize, we have a much more dramatic effect of this, you know, of this photo. So we'll just leave this as it is um, and click OK. And uh, there we are. So we have uh, a before. So pretty much a bland photo. And now this one with much more dramatic colors. And that is the effect of the match color. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.